my most cherished axe <sighs> from a good, good friend. One of the first men that ever came to meet me on this journey, Rick, the landfill rat. Half the axe is the handle, friends, okay? Don't, don't be mistaken, it, it just is. Uh, I, I, I will be honest, this is probably, it's one of my finest axes. I just put an edge. I took the speed bump it off it um, a few days back. It it had a speed bump. It wasn't that. It didn't have that. You you know what I'm talking about, friends. I think I think you know what I'm talking about. It just didn't. It didn't have it. And now it does. See that profile. This hang just went off, like something crazy it just went off mad so friends we're gonna take these three they're they're, they're not they're not my best wood splitters by, by by far they're not they're not my best wood splitters okay yeah they're not they're not my best wood splitters but it is a sunny sunny day and i don't know about i don't know about anybody else but when I don't use my body, and I figured this out years ago, like years ago, I figured it out. I figured it out when I, when I wasn't feeling good, mentally, physically, the whole thing, to be quite honest with you, yeah, the whole thing, I wasn't feeling good. I was in sales. I had a job in sales and, and I grew up a rough and tough rumbling tumbling kid in the bush it, it, that's how i grew up and then my dreams of 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 uh being a professional soccer player it was gone and music wasn't working out i, I wasn't trying hard but it just that was kind of my as a child growing up uh right that was kind of my my dreams and then it was like well forestry would be nice that was my next thing i, I would love to be uh in, in forestry, that would make sense. Something to do with forestry, I, c I could do. And uh, so I, I, I quit. I quit, I quit my, my scenario that I was doing. And that was, well, I'd lost my woman, actually. I lost Wendy at the time. She was, we were together and, and she, she left me. She, she just she couldn't take it. She couldn't watch it anymore. And, and I don't blame her. Not not one bit I don't blame her. So she left. And then uh, there I was. By myself. In, in a sales job. Friends. Okay. Clean as hands you'd ever seen. Soft. I just wasn't feeling right. There was something wrong. And, and, and at the time I didn't, I didn't really know what it was. I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't know why. I knew that I was drinking too much. That, that I did know and other things. And it, that, that wasn't feeling good. So, you all know the story. My life started uh, at 27 when I quit substances, okay? So, 
you, you, you talk about mental health, men's mental health. Well, my mental health changed drastically when I quit drinking and drugging. And this is just my story. It may, may have nothing to do with your mental health, but it sure did mine. It sure did mine. And I would venture to say that it does yours too if you're drinking hard and hard and hard and, and you're going out late at nights and, and, and forgetting what you've done and, and, and having people say you were an idiot last night or you know where'd you end up, or where, where you've been for the last two days or three days. or So if that's you, I, I think your mental health will come together a little bit better when you put, stop doing that stuff. That's just my opinion. Just one man's opinion. I've got one. So, but when it came, when that was all gone and, and my mental health still wasn't quite right, I had realized that uh, I wasn't going to be in sales anymore. It was time to, to find out what was, what was going on. And that's when I bought a power saw and an ax and I started selling firewood and I was 27 years old at the time. That's when I was, I was 27 friends when I done that. I was, I, I turned 27 and, and I had done that. So by the time I was 28, 28, 29 years old, I was on an ax and a power saw steady every daily, every day, selling firewood. And uh, my life changed drastically. There was no more of this uh, not feeling like I had an identity or, cause I was the firewood man. Now I was, I was, I was, I was a, a truck dry, driving ax swinging firewood man. Now he's topping trees. Now I'm falling timber. Now I'm a certified faller. Now I'm, uh, you know what I mean? It gave me purpose. It all started with physical being, physical, physical, which is the mental health part for me. Friends, I'm no good sitting around. Men are, we need to get dirty, fellas. We, we, we do, is whether you, th you believe it or not. I, I believe it's in our makeup to get dirty. Create something. Get a hammer and, then, and, and some nails and, and a board and write your name in, 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 in the nails. Be, 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 like, like, do something that requires some physical activity. And your mental health will change. Go for a walk. My friends, listen. You may be sitting here right now going, yeah, Buck, and it's easy for you to say. No, it wasn't easy for me to say. I dealt with the stuff that where, where people would say, oh, why don't you just do that? I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. That's, that's great. Good for you. That works good for you. It's not going to work for me. I've been there. I've been Mr. Uh, Mr. Negative and Mr. Yeah, that works for you and you don't understand me and I'm different. No, I'm not different. We're all different, but I'm a man. That, that's, that's what men's mental health. That's what this video is about. And someone put up a link, I think years, a couple of years back, Wooly's World. Wooly, a crazy dog. Yeah, I love Wooly. Excuse me. So he put it up. So uh, I think it's called Let's Split This. And, and it's a cause for mental, men's mental health and, and men's suicide among, uh, suicide among men. I don't know all the stats and I'm not going to pretend I do, but I have considered it myself several times back in my day when I was in a bad way, I had considered it and, and almost, almost one morning, almost went for it. And just telling you, I, it's just my life story. That's where I, I went. That's where alcohol and drugs and having no identity took me. So nothing started until I quit using, drinking and drugging. That's, that's when it all started for me, okay? So other than that, friends, uh, the axes are what saved me. Excuse me, <clears throat> axes saved me out. So apparently we're supposed to split wood for 10 minutes. Well, I don't really have uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, yeah, I got 10 minutes. We're already six minutes into it. Um, I don't really have some, some crazy wood. I, I've got some cedar here, friends, okay? So, I don't really have a lot of wood. I have some cedar here, but I've got a bashed up arm. And I, I, I was trying not to start too early on this thing. You know what I mean, friends? I was trying not to, to, to split wood, really, is what I was trying to do because of my arm. Now, they say, they say we gotta do this for 10 minutes. That feels like a nice ax. What's this? Ooh, that is a nice axe. 
That's lovely, Axe, that. What time is it, friends, on, on that clock? Maybe, maybe I can muster around. It's not about how much wood I'm gonna get split. It's about how I'm gonna feel doing it. So don't worry about that. I think we'll be set. Right, friends? This is my Woodman Axe from my good friend. It's not the best wood splitting axe, as you'll, as you'll notice here, but it sure feels good. See that? Yes, I did. <laughs> right, friends? See, see how this is not the right splitting axe? It'll split wood. Don't get me wrong, it'll split wood. But see how it gets stuck? I'm not a, I'm not a get stuck kind of guy. I gotta be careful here. So this is, this is kindling, friends. That's what this is. So I'm just gonna split bolts, you see? So friends, I, uh, I'm no, I'm no doctor. Uh, all I know is I have an opinion like anyone else and my opinions come from experience, not from reading a book, not from, you know, someone else's experience. They come from my experience and my experience is when I sit around doing nothing, which is nice very time, seldom be because I know myself now. I don't feel right. I don't feel proper. Yeah, now, this dates back man. to way back to when I was a kid even, when I think about it in retrospect, but it's not something you thought about then. But as we get into our manhood, we start, yeah, you know, right. 17, 18, coming to the end of school, we start looking at our hands Men do. We look at our hands and we go, what am I going to do with these things? You know, what, what, what am I going to do? I'm not a school boy. I, I, yeah, I did what I needed to do to get through school. Kindling enjoyed it. Like made the, some of the best friends I've ever made. But it's time now. This is actually it's time. What am I going to do? Glorious tool. And we grow See up that? with this, this man right? thing, this... You know, provider, uh, right you know, exactly. don't show uh, weakness, don't we show this or that. Like well, I, I, I've experienced okay. now that <laughs> showing your vulnerability uh, <laughs> is actually the stronger man. <laughs> it's like a, a, a reversed role. Um because I got no, no, to a spot, no, friends, where it was uh, figured out or perish, and and I done so, I done so. But again, back to the 
men's mental health. Uh, we are men. We are physical hunter-gatherers. If we're not doing anything physical, our mental and spiritual health has to pick up the pieces. So uh, I find the three, when, when they're in balance, friends, there's nothing. And, and listen, you'll watch these videos and you'll hear people say, hey, all you got to do is pick up an axe and split wood or all you got to do is go for a walk. Yeah, it's okay. You know what? When you're in the deeps and depths of, of depression or, or, or in a mental state where you're so far into yourself that all these things people say, they mean nothing to you. So don't think this is, hey, just do this and do that and not compassionate. Friends, it's, you get frozen. We can freeze in fear. Fear can freeze you. So just know this, friends. Men, my men, friends, and women too, but the burden can be shared, fellas. The burden can be shared. There are men out there, including myself, um, yeah, that, like that you know, like that. as you get into your manhood and, and uh, like there's all kinds of different scenarios. Oh, people grow up friend. with no fathers. People grow up with no mothers. It all affects us coming up. We all have a story, friends. We all come from somewhere. But we all bleed red and we're all the same. So if there's anything uh, that any of these people minutes? making these videos, Seven. they will we'll gladly we'll listen to your story. Well, I the, 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 the alarming rate of men's suicide, it's not something I follow, but I hear through the vine that it's at an all-time kind of a high here now. Uh, we can put a stop to that. We can put a dent in it. So don't suffer in silence. Open up your yapper. And start sharing your, sharing your issues. You ain't alone, and there's nothing about your story that's going to scare anybody. So don't think you're alone and terminal unique because there's always somebody that's had, you know, been down that same road as, as you have different circumstances, obviously, but you're not alone. You know, I, I kind of see it like it's, it, I like things nice and simple, and it's either something that's happened to us or we think that's happened to us or things we've done that we ain't proud of okay i mean i can only speak from my personal experience but i've done some things that i definitely ain't proud of and i would definitely never do again and that's what is important not to focus on what i done is to focus on what I can do now that's going to beat that thing down. And nine times out of ten, friends, it's getting out of yourself. And believe me when I say I know it's not easy. But here it is in a simple, simple soup, okay? If you want to do it more than you don't want to do it, you're going to do it. The human spirit mixed in with something outside yourself, maybe that you've been in tune with since you've been a child, you become unstoppable. You become absolutely in, uh, unstoppable when you're connected. So that was a big piece for me is, is getting connected. And, and it's very, I like it simple. Like I said, uh, you know, if you want to keep doing what you're doing, if you want to stay in that stinky spot where you think that that's, this is where it's supposed to be, then you're going to. Pain was the motivator for me. Pain was the motivator for me. I'd had enough pain, self-inflicted pain for change. So if you want to do change more than you don't want to do change, you will do change. See that? And then this guy, he gets, he gets this. Or he gets this, this way too. He can get either one he likes. He likes it better that way.
hear that friends isn't that beautiful so these are this is part of our our wood theme we we do we do kindling Hey, there's three beauties right there. This one I think could go a little bit smaller. See, so I'm actually feeling not bad here. This is a gorgeous freaking axe. <laughs> so I can guarantee you we got 10 minutes now. We got 10 minutes. Hooey. So, I'm not worried about what I got split for firewood. We're at 12 minutes now. So, this is just a task that I have to do. And I chose to enjoy the situation probably more than I would have if I had just grabbed a regular old axe. I grabbed out my some of my finest axes and actually i forgot one and i gotta go back and use it i have to it's too nice it, it is too nice let's do it again friends Let, let's have another quick go just just give me a minute i gotta use this one i haven't used it yet and it wouldn't be fair friends and it's my uh My bluegrass. And it is actually <laughs> for 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 normal wood. It is beautiful. And you can the nice thing about this axe is you can do the old uh you know what I mean, friends? Like uh, the old this thing, right? With with ease, look. See? It's because it's sharp. And it depends on how hard you hit it. You know what I mean? This is actually a phenomenal axe to use. But it's an axe. It's not a... This is a, a thinner axe. It's meant to be used like you'll 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 shank it up that's why i say friends to use your chopping blocks if you're using chopping blocks have your chopping block um back like this have your piece of wood like this so that when you go to split the piece of wood you guys see what i'm talking about right when it goes through the wood it's going to hit the block down here it's not going to go past the block and hit you in the leg see this so so here we go right this is what i'm talking about again we push it to the back of the block back of the now you can wail on it and hit the piece of wood so that it's the, the handle is way far this way you guys get me right so because if you if you go wailing this right here you're going to over you're going to wreck your axe and you're going to be very sad don't 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 not use your nice axes just because you're afraid you're going to beat them up. Use them properly. See? See? I hammered that thing. There was a knot in it. Went right through the block into the chopping block. 
The chopping block is like eight inches at the base. That's it, okay? Right? Again. Let's move this guy over. There we go. I gotta use my other hand. See this, this ax gets a bit stuck, you see? But, but this is what I'm talking about. See, so you can hammer it and split your wood. See? Okay, I'm starting to feel that now. I gotta watch it. I don't wanna re-injure this thing. I'm not doing it. Okay. I felt that. It's okay to feel it. It's okay to feel it. You just don't wanna re-injure it. Look at that thing. Come on. Okay. So, what a fun time. Men's mental health. Well, let me let me just tell you something. L let me just give you a little rundown on how I'm feeling right about now. I've been trying to heal it up. I've done nothing until today is my first day doing something. And again, that 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 plays in to men's health. I'm I'm no good sitting. I'm no good sitting. I the last few days I just like we've we've got I've got a couple of big tree jobs lined up like dandies. You think I can hold a power saw and twist and turn and bend and up over my... No, I could, but it would only be in a case if I needed to pay the mortgage or the mortgage is paid this month. So I don't have to worry about that this month. So I can heal up. So yeah, I, I felt it, a little twinge, but I've always gotten on my, my injuries. I've always let my injuries know who's the boss. Me, I'm the boss of my body. So I listened to it. But at the same time, I let them know that you guys, you know, you're, you, you, you're, you're hindering me a little bit, but it's, we're, we're still going to be working. So just so you know that, Mr. Arm, we're still going to be doing things. So that's how I think about all my injuries. It's just psychological games I play with myself and always have. Somebody's coming up my driveway. It's my wife. Yeah, it is. Okay, she's going to give me trouble. She will give me trouble. Watch this. <laughs> she, uh, she caught me earlier playing in the wood pile with the... Uh, Bear Claw was here. Bear Claw dropped in for a visit. And uh, she may even come over and give me trouble again. She may. I hope she doesn't, because she I give her the funny look. She knows what I'm doing. She knows what I'm doing. But now that I had a little session, I feel better than I did when I didn't do the session. Let me tell you that right now. Men's mental health. Friends, we all have our own hill of rocks, or our own pile of firewood to deal with. Everybody's got their own gig, okay? Listen, uh, Here's a saying that I heard when I was at that point in my life when I needed to start getting stuff out. I needed, I, I had a, a pot of goodies and it was stewing and, and it was overflowing. The steam had hit it and, and it was getting, it was getting bad. And I needed to release the steam on the, on the cooker, on the pressure cooker. I was probably going to take myself out. You guys have heard me say this. I've already said this lots before. So here's a little saying that I, that I heard. And it's called Big Mouths Get Well. <laughs> and basically what that means is if you're struggling, could be the simplest things, could be, I mean, I can only go with what I know, but it, it could be this. Because I'll tell you one thing for men. I'll, I'll tell you this right now from knowing and experiencing. It's way easier for us to be angry than it is to, for us men to say, I've got hurt feelings or I'm abandoned. You've hurt my feelings. <laughs> it's easier to be right? It's much easier to be angry than it is to be hurt. Let's be honest. It is. So, but I've learned over the years, uh, especially when it was, when it was, when it was time to, to get, you know, sober up. I, I, I learned that I had some stuff that, that, that I could either stew on or I could get rid of and, and, and let someone else deal with it. That being 
the big fella, the sky, the creator, the, the all-knowing, whoever you want to talk to or call your, your whatever. <laughs> I, I got all kinds of names for mine. <laughs> the big fella's a good one. So I gave it to him. And I said, you, you deal with this. I don't, I'm not packing this no more. I'm not, I'm not packing it. I'm sorry about it. I truly am sincerely sorry about it. I will never do it again, but it's bothering me. And if I don't give it away or let it go, I'm just going to continue packing that bag of rocks on my back. And, that, and that's hard. It gets hard. It gets hard. So, men, we all know you're tough. We all know you're a tough guy. We already know that. We know you're strong. We know you're tough. We know not to mess with you because you'll show us how tough you are. I understand. I do. But listen, it's okay to say, you know what? I have abandonment issues. My, my dad left when I was a young man and, and it hurt. It hurt. I, I, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I, I chose to act out in other ways, but, it, but where it was coming from was actual hurt. And you see, what I had learned, friends, which rang true to me, is that, that anger is, is, you're not just angry all of a sudden. You can't just be angry. <laughs> oh, I'm angry. It has to come from somewhere. It has to derive from somewhere. So m mine was abandonment. I, it, it was hurt, ab abandonment, and, and shame. Uh, you know, so those were some of my things that I had to deal with because I come from a broken up family and I got no problem talking about it now. None whatsoever. I didn't think I was mad at my dad. I didn't. <laughs> Till I was about 27, it hit me. I did not think I was mad. I was rip-roaring mad. It took me sitting in a group of people talking about this for all of them to go, hey, dude, you're freaking angry. I'm like, no, I'm not. Honey, how you doing? You? Were you coming to give me trouble for not wearing my band? Yeah, I know. I'm just checking it out. I'm not running any saws, babe. I fired up Bear Claw saw. Yes, I did. It's good. It's getting better. I'm leaving it now. Yeah, exactly. That's why I cut. Oh, okay. Thanks, babe. Oh, she put up Cameron. <laughs> Cameron, what are you doing, dude? This is like Cameron's like fourth axe he sent to me. Fifth or something crazy. There it is, right there. So, friends, there is a bunch of videos. Well, I know Wooly started it like a year or two ago. Do you guys remember when I was on that fallen job with Hogan? That was Hogan's big first fallen job at Bob's and I fell on that freaking stump and almost cracked my, my sternum. Do you guys remember that? Well, that's when that ax uh, challenge, not challenge, it's uh, let's split this started. Hashtag let's split this. And I guess what the idea behind it is let's split uh, men's mental health and let's split the suicide rate. Uh, I, 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 I'm qualified to speak on this. I'm qualified to speak on it. I'm qualified to split wood and feel the benefits of it. And I'm also qualified to speak on mental health or men's mental health. And that's why I did this video. And, and it is close to my heart. I don't go beacon off about it all the time, but, but uh, I thought I would join in on this one. I felt like a worthy cause. You know what I mean, friends? It did, it felt like a worthy cause. And I, I, I urge you to, if you're, you're a young man watching this and, 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 and you know what I mean? You've had some dark days. Uh, and if you found your way out through physical uh, activity and, and spouting off about, about where you're at in life, it helps. Uh, it helped me. It helped me. I can just shut up. I've done that too. And say nothing and, and stew and pain. I've been there too. I, I prefer to spout off. Big mouths get well because I'm at peace now and I'm not hiding nothing. And then it comes the forgiveness and stuff, my friends. And then honestly, all kinds of different things start to happen. But I've gone on long enough. And I'm freaking, I'm, I'm freaking uploading this video. I'm doing it. I'm uploading this video just like it is. Just boom, straight up to you. So it's 25 minutes for somebody to watch something. I think it is. What is it? It is. It's 26 minutes and 10 seconds. Friends, I love yous. Men, young men, old men, middle-aged men, if you're struggling, 
and you're having dark days and you think there's no way out and you think you're alone and you think no one understands you, you are wrong. You're wrong. I was. I thought nobody understood me. I thought I was nuts in the head. I did, friends. I thought I was nuts and nobody would understand me because I thought I was crazy. And it was just that I was drinking and drugging and lost in my own mind. Terminal uniqueness. It's a killer. It's a killer. Open your yapper. Spit some of your problems out. Share it with somebody you feel safe with. Just get it out. And then go help somebody else when you start feeling good. Because you can't help nobody when you're feeling down and not good about yourself. It's very difficult to be able to help some other people. And feel good about other people when you don't feel good about yourself. Let's make strong human beings. It's a big part of my channel, this part of stuff, the stuff I talk about it once in a while. It's important to me. That's why I did this video and I'm done now shutting, gonna my, shut my hole, my pie hole, my cake hole, my mouth, my yapper, the hole above my chin and below my nose. Over and out, be kind, catch you on the next video. Split some wood. Good morning, friends. It's good to see you. You got the drifter here. I drifted, this morning I drifted outside and and it was cold, friends, it was real cold. And I popped down into the sun and now it's real hot. It's the extremes. Real cold, real hot. Black, white, hot, cold, sharp, dull. There has to be opposites for them to exist, right? There has to be, how do we know happiness and peace until we know discord and freaking outness? How do we know peace? by its counterpart. Love and fear, simple. You see?